So we have our player here. He can water, he can harvest, he can replant, he can grab carrots, he can go up and charge, and then it goes to the next day. So things are working, but there's not a lot of stakes here. All we have to do is finish this before the time, which is down here, goes out for the day. And even then we don't have anything actually linked up to be any kind of consequences. It would just start going negative. So what we need to do is also get our battery to drain. And I ideally want this to happen when we move, it kind of uses battery. When we harvest or plant or water, that uses battery. So it's that's kind of the idea here. Let's go here. When we hit our action button, let's take our energy down a little bit. And I think what we'll do is let's make a new tab and we'll just call this uh, battery stuff. And we'll just call this uh, drain, like a function drain for drain battery. And this time we're going to have an argument here. And so we'll call this AMT for amount. And we're going to say player bat for battery minus equals AMT. That's all we're going to do. That's when we drain our battery. We're also going to make sure that we put our battery in our player here. So let's comma BAT equals 100 to start out with. So that's good. And I think let's take this action button here and we're just going to call that drain function every time we do something. And let's kind of get this labeled here too. So if this is flag zero, then what we're gonna do is plant seeds. If it's flag one, then we're going to water the tile. Let's just kind of space this out, get a little bit of room here. This is gonna be harvest carrot and this is gonna be day progress battery charge. Let's um, do this. We're gonna call this drain when we hit each of these things. So when we plant seeds, we're going to drain. Let's just say we drain 0.1, all right? And maybe 0.15, let's go with that. And we're gonna do similar things for when we water a tile and when we harvest. But when we charge our battery, then we're gonna say player bat equals 100, all right? In fact, we could probably call this as a function, but eh, probably don't need to, just leave it there. Now, when we move, we also want to drain the battery. So let's drain it just a little bit. Drain, and let's do 0 0.01. Let's go with that. In fact, there's probably a smarter way to do this too so that we can easily update this, but let's just see how this works. Save run. Uh, we also need to be able to see our battery amount. So let's put that in our prints here. Let's say print player bat, and that's going to be at 915. So nine times eight is 72. 22, 10, and let's also floor the battery. Good, save and run. We should have our battery down here. Yep, there's our battery. Okay, and as I move, that's going to drain the battery. Here we go, so I'm draining that. And then as I plant, it's going to drain the battery faster. Good, I might even wanna drain it faster than that. But we have a cost now, not just a cost of seeds, but a cost of moving around. We have to manage our battery, okay? That needs to probably go down a little bit faster. And so I think, let's do this. Let's say if amount is, and then this time we're going to say uh, movement, then we'll just kind of do a you know, 0 0.01, okay? Else if amount equals action, then, then player bat minus equals 0.1, all right? Then we can easily switch these later, but we need to adjust our, our calls here. So let's make these shorter, MV and ACT, okay? MV and ACT. So when we move, we're just going to say MV like this, drain MV like that, boom. Then we don't have to update these 50 times if we want to change that value. Same thing for the action buttons. This is going to be ACT like that. Let's just throw those in. Okay, save run. Oh, we gotta do the double equals there because we're testing for a value, not setting a value. Save run. Okay, so now as we move, there is a certain amount of drain on the battery. And as we do things, there's more drain. So let's make these kind of crazy. So let's do 0.1 and let's do like 0.5. Save run. So as we move now, that battery goes down a lot faster. And as we harvest, that battery goes down really fast. So as we plant those, we're really running out of battery, okay? And we'll have to tweak the balance and everything for this, but right now it's working. And so the idea is that we're gonna have to keep an eye on our battery as well as the time of day to make sure that we don't run out of battery or run out of time. Because the idea is that we will do all of our farm work by the end of the day with enough battery. And if we do that, then we can go up and charge like this 
See, I would have ran out of battery there because it's negative one. So in the next video, we're gonna actually make this matter to where it will do kind of a game over if we run out of battery or time. That's all for today. By the way, if you're new to Pico 8, we have a free Pico 8 Essentials Workshop available right here. And if you wanna watch all the videos in this series, there's a playlist right here. See you next time.